Banshees of Anishran is an Irish black comedy drama that came out a little bit ago. I can't exactly remember when it came out. This film is directed by Martin McDonough and it stars uh, Brendan Gleeson, it stars uh, Colin Farrell, it stars Carrie Condon, it stars Barry Keegan among other people and the story takes place on an island off the coast or shores of Ireland somewhere. The best way I could set up the story for this movie which even I didn't know what the story was about before I watched it. Colin Farrell plays a man named Podrick. Podrick is friends with this other man named Colum, who is played by Brendan Gleeson. Colum one day decides that he doesn't want to be friends with Podrick anymore. This leads Podrick on this dark, twisting journey of both self-discovery and repairing because he's trying to like repair the relationship that he has with his friends. Leads to like a battle of wills and that in itself leads to some dark, twisting, and shocking places that uh, you wouldn't expect watching a movie like this. This is one of those films where you see the premise and how it's set up in the beginning of the movie and you're like, how could this be the basis for a story for the entire movie? Then you watch the movie and you're kind of like, actually, I could perfectly see why because I am hooked on every word that these people are saying. They take what could be a simple premise and they really push the envelope with it. This movie goes to some interesting places, sometimes dark places, that I did not expect that they could squeeze out of the premise of, oh, someone's not being friends with someone else. Perfect blend of comedy, but also maturity and darkness. There's deeper things that the movie is about. This is definitely one of the best shot films of 2022. Everything takes place on this island in Ireland. The way they're able to showcase these different locations on this island of the landscapes and all the beautiful wide takes of the scenery is one thing, but then all of the other shots that may not mean much to you, but then later on you're like, holy shit, the symbolism. And it also has a great musical score. The musical score in this movie is equal parts melancholic, but also meditative, but also kind of bouncy in that Irish Ireland type of way. Brendan Gleeson is a terrific actor. He's terrific here. Find out there's more to him than initially, oh, I don't like you, don't want to be friends anymore. Like that's the initial setup, but there's so much more to his character than that. Colin Farrell was terrific in this movie. Carrie Condon was also terrific. She plays uh, Podrick's sister in the film. Harry Keegan gives a very weird and unorthodox performance. He is a character that you grow to feel a little sympathetic towards. The long the movie goes on there's more to his character than you would realize too and it's a movie that absolutely captures the loneliness of a location like this with its cinematography but it's a film that's about so much more than a failed friendship how should you live your life what's most important after you're gone is it about your legacy is it about the things that you did to be remembered even by people that don't know you a movie like whiplash tackled a similar concept to this if you guys remember like the dinner table scene where miles teller's character is like talking about how he wants to be remembered and how he wants people to talk about his name even after he's gone how they're talking about well that doesn't really matter as long as the people that you love remember you right this movie kind of cast an interesting rock into that pond and there's a lot of interesting little ripple effects that come out as a result of it so it is one of those movies that does make you think a little bit deeper about life every scene i was interested to hear what these people were talking about i was interested to see what they were going to say i was hooked onto every word that's how you know you have great dialogue that's how you know you have a well-written screenplay i will say there are a couple of elements that didn't work that well for me in this movie. One is this mysterious voodoo supernatural type of angle in this movie. It's one of those things where I get what the movie was trying to set up and I understand kind of the superstitious attitude that might hang in the air around this island and around some of the people that live on this island. But it felt like that was kind of tacked on to make the movie feel a little bit darker, a little bit more weird than it already is. And it kind of makes you feel like you wasted a little bit of your time with it. It's also certain things about some aspects of the way that this film wrapped up that I was not completely satisfied with, but Having said that, I think it's on streaming now. It might be on HBO Max. It was briefly in theaters like a month or so ago, so I know that this review is late. But Banshees of Anishirin is absolutely one of the best directed, best written, best looking films of 2022, and it belongs in the highest rating on this channel, Superman Prime. Those are my thoughts on Banshees of Anishirin. Tell me, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Give me your thoughts on the film in the comment section down below. Please like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show, and if you like what you see, tell me how you feel, and stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.